another video. So today, I feel like there's so much that I could be doing, but like the motivation is just not there. It's just not like, I'm so like sick of not working. I just wanna work. Like I'm just running out of like inspo and motivation to like do much, which I feel like, can you relate? Just even just a little bit. Today I was thinking, okay bitch it's time to put away your easter stuff like i still have all of this like easter time like decor and like time's up you know like it's time to it's time to put her away okay so i was thinking maybe i would take out my summer stuff put a little bit of decor out get it looking a little bright and sunny in here although it's like gloomy and rainy outside but we've had like a really nice hot week and then also my mom's birthday is next week and i have the gifts for her so i gotta wrap those and yeah there's a bunch of things i think we're gonna have like barbecue tonight make some burgers and i really want to show you guys the project um that we've been doing outside in the backyard. I'll show you guys that like as soon as I'm done this little spiel. Um, basically, Luke and I have this home and it's not our forever home. We love it, it's our first house, we're gonna be here for a couple years, but it's not our forever home and we know that. So we don't wanna spend like thousands and thousands of dollars on like renovating, really, um, which we've already spent so much on renovating, just like cleaning things up, making things look nice, making it more modern because um, this house was literally built in the 60s. Mm. So we really wanted to make the backyard like walkway look a little bit nicer because it looked like just trash before, like the people that own this house before us, like they did not care about like maintaining the they did not care about maintenance. So we've been doing a little bit of gardening. We've been taking like all before. It was just these big like concrete slabs for a walkway. And um, we decided to, you know, kind of renovate it a little bit like on a budget, you know, just to make it look a little bit nicer and more cleaned up. So I'll show you guys what we've done so far. And we've done it all ourselves with our own money. We haven't hired anyone, you know. Um, and we tried to do it on a budget. So this is like not gonna be the most satisfying Pinteresty looking thing ever, but believe me, if you saw what it was like before, I'm actually really happy. So anyway, I'm gonna show you the progress of that. So come along with me. So all this was all like nasty grassy mud. And then these were like huge big like concrete slabs from like 2001 <laughs> so we decided to take out like put this like nice like concrete pebbles over it and we bought these new little slabs for a walkway and we are going to fill this with like all through there and then we're gonna put the barbecue there see that's what we had there before this these nasty things were there before um but i think luke is gonna use that as a like a platform for his barbecue and yeah we're gonna put the barbecue here and then i was thinking like right along here we can put like a like a table like an outdoor table bar kind of thing where when he's like doing the barbecue here he can like put plates of food and drinks and like have a cooler underneath have like shelves kind of thing and this can be like his little like outdoor barbecue bar area and then we decided to plant a couple of little plants in here we gotta clean it up a bit still there's still a lot to do we have to clean up this area i wanted to put some flowers in there still we haven't, we literally have not touched the barbecue at all, or not the barbecue, the backyard at all. So there's still a lot to be done, but if you guys saw what it looked like before. <laughs> it was so loud. So I'm pretty confident that we can get. Might need a little bit more though. I'm pretty confident that we can probably get this done today. Yesterday we focused on, you know, this, and Luca put the slabs in. And um, I really want to get some solar lights, put them all in the garden, um, along the walkway there, um, and just have them spread. And then I know Luca wanted to put 
you know, a garden over there. This is like our goal. This is what we talked about. So we really wanted to have like um, a walkway leading to the fire there and the fire there. Having a little bit of like some poles and then hanging some lights like fairy lights or lanterns or something and we're gonna put like a platform like around the fire and the chairs so that it's not grass but then the rest of the area would be grass for Ali but yeah we have a lot of room to work with honestly I would love a pool <laughs> but I'm thinking Luca might want to we might just agree on like a hot tub maybe put it there or something I don't know but yeah these are um, the progress is that I love this bush guys I love this bush and apparently that is gonna grow like big so I can't wait and then I got this one too which is supposed to grow big and it has pink flowers but guys okay let me let me know like this flower here does that not look like a gal galaxy like galactic like looking flower <laughs> seriously let me know in the comment section below but anyway so yeah that's the update. And it's so funny because these plants literally sprouted out overnight. Not even kidding. Luca and I are out here like watering these plants every day. And these literally were not here. <laughs> they just came out overnight like it's insane they came out so quick and also these blue looking things just came out too and they're so pretty oh my gosh so yeah the uh, the plants are are sprouting So I want to get the Easter stuff out of here and bring out the summer stuff, but I think first I'm gonna eat. It's two o'clock, I haven't had lunch yet. I wanna give you guys also a very TMI update on my burns on my legs. It's still, uh, still pretty bad, hold on. Wait, hold on, can you see? <laughs> I can't tell. Um, I'm at the point now where, um, like I can walk at least, whereas before I literally could not walk. Look how swollen though. Also, I've gotten so many bites and I don't know how or where I'm getting them, but they're like all over me. Like maybe when I was gardening, I know mama, all the bites. And Allie makes this like terrible habit of like sniffing my bites and licking them when I'm like not ready for that. But yeah, I have bites all over my legs. I think it's they're from gardening yesterday, but look at my burns and my all of these bites. Like, where are they coming from? My legs are so swollen. Anyway, okay. I think I'm gonna make myself a tea and something to eat. Um, and then we can get started on the home decor. My mom says that I don't talk enough in my videos, so here I am. Oh, can you guys comment in this section below because I like a mix like a mix of like different kinds of videos like some of them I kind of just like music and like going throughout my day do you like that like kind of more like silent vlogs or do you like more like me talking in every frame explaining everything like because like I like both depends but let me know like what your like lifestyle vlogger type of aesthetic is I feel like I'm all over the place I just I don't want to like be labeled like you know I don't want to be like in one specific category like I, <laughs> I want to like just be like how I feel like on that day and just like go with the flow in that way but also I want to like make stuff that you guys enjoy obviously because you're the viewers and I wouldn't be here without you but um just let me know like what you're into what you like what you don't like and I'm gonna make myself a tea while you do that thanks
We're going for a little green tea jasmine today. He does this thing where wherever I go, if I'm like lingering, she'll just plop on the floor and like be like, okay, mom, I guess this is where we're gonna be. Okay, private time. Okay, so I had I had a bit of a big breakfast, so I'm not like making a big lunch because we're gonna have barbecue tonight. So I'm, I'm just gonna make myself a little snack. Don't judge me. Actually, while this steeps, I'll make my little snack. So on the menu today, don't judge me. Um, we're gonna have some pickles because Hugo loves her pickles. It's been a while. Actually, don't even think that I've bought pickles yet since moving into this house, but like a bitch loves pickles. So I'll have two pickles. Although these aren't that crunchy though. Like I like crunchy, no garlic. Um, I never know like what pickles to buy. Like I hate pickles that are like sliced. <clears throat> like I need them thick. I need them crunchy. Just this slaps, if you know what I mean. Honestly, I have been debating starting like an ASMR like eating channel. <laughs> like I would just love to like go on the camera, eat some food, and like make money from it. Like that's, that's, those people are very smart. I just like, I'd be so embarrassed like my family would see it. You know how some people like, some people get it, like the ASMR thing, and then some people just don't get it. They just don't get it. This is what you get, mom. This is this is me talking on my vlogs. Big mistake. Mm. So good. Mm. Jerky, right? Is that jerky? I don't even know. Luca buys them, and they're good. Um, some cheese. Got some cheese. I'm very like picky about like the way I slice cheese. Like it has to be thin, but like the right kind of thin. Like I don't like chunky things of cheese. Like it's just not enjoyable to eat that. Okay, that's it's a little too thin, but she slaps. Thin, that's what I like. That's what I like. Okay, she tick, she tick. See, this is what I like and this is what I don't like, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. And then I got a little Fiber One little brownie bar because your girl has IBS and you know like what I mean, like this fiber IBS for my homies watching this that have like IBS, especially IBSC. I got you, girl. This is where it's at. These are good. Which, by the way, I've been meaning to make that video I said I was gonna make of just like for the girls, you know? Just like a video about all those hard things that girls have to go through and, but also like just girl talk. I saw all of what you guys sent me. I was like, I literally wrote it all down. I'm gonna make the video really soon. I just need time to like, sit down and film it. Kind of wanted to do it on a day that I'm home alone so I can just go off, you know what I mean? We don't need no masculine vibes around while we do that. I'm just gonna have one more pickle though. One more pickle to tickle. Oh, look at my lunch, woohoo! Don't forget my tea. So I'm literally just gonna eat this and then we're gonna go right back to the Easter slash summer decor thing that I gotta take care of. Okay guys, so I have all of my Easter stuff. Actually, I got I forgot to include these, but I need to, Ellie, what the hell? I need to um, wash these first and then put them away nice and clean. So that is actually something I have to do. So put those over there. Anyways, so this is all of my Easter stuff, and then I have these two boxes over there ready to be unboxed for the summer. So I'm 
make a good thumbnail. Okay, so this is all the summer stuff that I am taking out from like the last year or a couple of years, I guess. Um, it would I would love to go and get some new like summer decor and stuff, but all the stores are closed right now because of COVID. So once things open back up, which I think they are going to start opening back up in June, maybe we can do a little summer haul for you guys. But for now, these are my summer annual, year annual, seasonal home decor. So let's start with these cute little babies. So these, I love them. My mom bought them for me like way back when. <laughs> And these are just little coffee mugs. So I'm gonna put this next to my little coffee station over there. And yeah, I'll just get these pillows out of the way. So these pillows, I went through like this weird, like in the summer, I still feel this way. In the summer, I just love yellow, like yellow anything. It just makes me so happy. It's just such a bright, happy color. And I really wanted to fill up my apartment with it. Um, so I bought like a bunch of lemon, yellow, aesthetic, stuff so here we are <laughs> this is a lemon pillow for the couch um a green plant pillow and here's another like blue lemon yellow pillow and then i have these two light blue just like candles they're like kind of running low here but we're gonna put them up anyway we got this uh these uh kitchen towels pink flamingos which usually like every year i get new like towels for the kitchen like hand towels um from like home sense because they always have always chasing her tail anyway so yeah from home sense i love home sense like my favorite store i can't wait to go back um, I always get new towels every year, but we're gonna reuse these, I guess. So, yeah, these are my kitchen towels. And we have a little pig, which I don't know yet if I am going to put this somewhere or maybe put it on Facebook Marketplace. I don't know yet. It's super cute, but uh, I guess we'll see if there's a nice place for it, nice spot for it. We also have this for the summer. I love using this for like um, sangrias and just like summer like barbecue parties and stuff. Obviously I'm not having any parties right now because of COVID but this I just love like when we're barbecuing when we have people over in the summertime in the backyard. It's good. She's good. Anyway so uh, yeah let's uh, place these bad boys. Just a tip, like lemon and like strawberry, raspberry water, like it's so good. It's really refreshing summertime drink. It's like you're drinking wine, but you're not, but this is like the healthier version of it. <laughs> hey guys, so it's dinner time. I'm gonna make myself, oh my gosh, I have makeup all over my face that is not cute. Um, I'm gonna make myself a portobello mushroom burger with goat cheese, uh, pea shoots, and avocado. Hopefully this avocado is good on the inside because it feels a little too mushy.
Okay guys, so like because of my IBS issues, my I'm dealing with all kinds of different things. My doctor recommended that I try this like FODMAP diet. I'm not doing that, but I found this at the grocery store. <laughs> it's called Foddy FODMAP Ketchup. Like low FODMAP ketchup. So we're gonna try it. I'm not putting it on my burger, but I'm gonna try it with some fries and see like what I think. I'll let you know. Hit you back up in a bit. I'm not gonna sit here and pull it. Looks so good. So I was a little late making the fries, so the fries are gonna come after this burger. But I'm gonna try it. See what I think. The ultimate test. She's good. Mm. Luca, you really like this. You'd really like this. Yeah? Mm. I wish I had my fries, but this is really good. Okay, we're gonna try the FODMAP ketchup with this fry. It's not that good. <laughs> it just tastes like, like just tomatoes, like melted tomatoes, you know? Awesome. Yeah, like I might as well just be eating like. Mm -mm. This doesn't do it for me. I'm gonna go get the mayo.